Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Waffle Flower Crafts. In this video, we are going to play with Waffle Flower's new Little One Alpha Die and the Little One Baby combo set to create this sweet welcome baby card. I went ahead and die cut with the Little One Alpha Die the whole alphabet as well as a second E. I just used a little scrap of cardstock and die cut another E. I also die cut seven blocks and I die cut the outline of the blocks as well as seven of the backing for the blocks. I'm going to spell out welcome so I went ahead and popped out those letters and now I'm going to grab these blocks and do some ink blending. I'm going to use some pink fresh inks today. I'm going to start with the base or the background for the block and ink that very lightly. I'm using sparkling rose here which is a nice pink. Then I'm going to use that same ink and be more heavy handed to ink blend the letter and the outline. This is just going to create some contrast and it's going to have a really cool kind of look. It's nice to get two tones out of one ink so it's really easy to kind of stretch your colors that way. I'm just going to clean my palette paper here. I just have a piece of palette paper protecting my water media mat and I'm now going to move on to my next color. Making a rainbow here so I moved on to an orange. This is apricot and again I'm going to repeat that process. Blend the background of the block lightly and then blend more heavy handedly the uh, outline and the letter that goes in that block. And once I finish ink blending all three pieces, I'll then put them aside and then move on to my next color. Moving on to a yellow here, Lemon Whip. All the colors that I'm using are on screen so you can follow along. I'm just going to repeat this process till I have all of my colors or all of my blocks being blended out. I did pick a rainbow of colors here, seven colors in total because there are seven letters in welcome. And you could use whatever um, color palette you want. You could definitely do like kind of more pinks if you want to do kind of a really gender specific welcome baby card. I chose to do a rainbow because I felt like that wasn't gender specific. So this, this card could really go to either a, a little girl or a little boy um, baby. So I'm just finishing up here with my last two colors here. I'm going to do two blues at the end, kind of a lighter blue, and then move on to a darker blue. And again, you can use whatever inks you have at home. Um, I just really like how these pink fresh uh, inks kind of play. I really like the color palettes in this line. Now that I've finished ink blending, I'm now going to adhere my letters and my blocks together. I have a little precision glue bottle here filled with Mod Podge mat. Uh, you could use whatever adhesive you like. A lot of people like the Ranger multimedia mat that works well. Uh, definitely want to use something with a fine nozzle because these are very thin little pieces of paper and you don't want to get glue everywhere. Also this Mod Podge mat dries mat so if I do get any glue kind of squishing out um, from the edges it won't be as visible as like a shiny glue so definitely try to get use a matte glue as well just to make sure just so you don't get so it doesn't look messy so it looks nice and neat. So I just finished gluing that W block my first block. I'm now going to repeat this process for all my blocks till I have them all adhered together and then I'll set those aside. I'm not going to move on to stamping one of the babies from the little one baby combo set. The combo set comes with the little one baby matching dies in the back and the little one baby stamp set in the front. I've pulled off the baby that has a striped blanket and I'm going to ink up this baby with Memento Tuxedo Black which is a Copic friendly ink because I'm going to do some Copic coloring now. I'm going to color the baby's face first. I just have some really light tans picked out for that and then I'm going to add some rosy cheeks with RV11. All the colors I am using are on screen so you can follow along. I'm going to color basically the blanket and the hat in the same kind of rainbow palette that I used for the blocks except in Copic form. I'm going to start though with my blue and then end with my pink so kind of doing it the opposite um, um, order. And after I've done the little hat, I'm now going to move on to the blanket. And I started with light blue, then moved on to this aqua green, and then I'll move on to kind of my really lime green, then yellow. I'm actually only using two markers to create that little gradation. It's such a small little area that it doesn't take much to create that illusion of roundness. And then finish up with my pink. I'm now moving on to stamping the background for my card. I have my beloved layering wood grain stamp set here from Waffle Flower. This is a layering stamp set and I've pulled off the detail layer, so kind of the second layer for this stamp set, and i am mounted it here on a long acrylic block and I'm gonna hand stamp this background. I'm gonna ink up this wood grain stamp with 
a nice tan color. This is Warm Buff from Pink Fresh. Once I ink it up, then I will just hand stamp this uh, panel. This panel here is a measurements for a slimline card, so it is three and a half by eight and a half. And as you can see, the stamp obviously doesn't cover the whole front because this is such a long kind of different kind of card shape. So I just have to kind of match it up. And it's pretty easy to do because I'm doing it here just by hand, just eyeballing it. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because this is kind of a rustic wood grain look anyways. And a lot of it will be covered when we adhere our blocks and our baby to the card front. So I'm just going to finish up by stamping that last little bit and then I'll set that aside. I'm now going to move on to creating my card base for this slimline card. So here I have an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock, and I just want to show you how I cut this. I just cut off 4 inches, so I'm left with an 8.5 by 7 sheet, and then I'm going to score at 3.5. So on the 7 side, that's where you're going to score down at 3.5, and, and then just fold it over. Because this is so long, I kind of had to rotate it because my scoreboard is not big enough for this sheet of cardstock, and then I just fold it over and crease the fold and that's how you make a slimline card. So now that my base is made I'm going to just put some tape down onto the front and then stick down that wood grain background that we created. And we are almost ready to put this card together but we do have to stamp our sentiment real quick. I just arranged my blocks just so I had an idea of where they are going to go and then I pulled off this little one. I actually cut this little one sentiment away from the large stamp that it's a part of. Just used a pair of scissors. I never am afraid of cutting my stamps because I can always put them back together either on an acrylic block or my misty. So it and it allows me to get more um, use really out of those stamps. So I'm never don't be afraid to cut those stamps. Just don't cut the actual image just cut around the image. So I just stamped it there in VersaFine Onyx Black ink and now that that's stamped I can now actually stick down all of these um, blocks and baby. I just have a couple pieces of, or a couple squares rather, of foam tape behind each one of the blocks. I'm just removing the backing here and then sticking those down. And then I'm going to adjust this E here just a little bit to, to kind of make it look like it's actually supporting the baby a little bit more. Once I have that E in the right spot, I'm then going to cut my little foam squares here just kind of a little thinner and put them on the top edge of the baby and then add a little liquid glue to where the baby overlaps with the blocks and then I'll just stick that down and once that baby stuck down this card is complete. And I'll hold the card to the camera so you can get a good look at the details in this card, our sweet little baby, the beautiful blocks, and our wood grain background which is a great solution to add some interest to the background but not make it too busy that it distracts from our sentiment or our images. I also love that we got a rainbow in here but you could also use whatever color palette you like. You can make the blocks blue or pink. You can also make the blocks personal. You can customize them to say the baby's name and it's a great set for even like birthdays for children. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you like any more information on the products I use, please head over to Waffle Flower and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.